Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to talk about the Revolt Tech Harley Quinn blue and red pigtails version. I don't know which EX number it is because I forgot to look at my box. But um, yeah, it's been a while and I, and I said I would do this. Shout out to the fan who constantly reminded me in the most polite way, he made sure my mental health was right. He took his time and uh, it was always a polite reminder. So I just wanna say thank you because it's really hard to get your mind right with everything going on in the world. So I appreciate you taking the time and waiting. I'm trying to backtrack on a bunch of old videos like this, and I want to say thank you guys for your patience. For real. But, let's talk about Harley Quinn. Something that, uh, I miss out on the original, and since then I've gotten the original, and I think now I'm only missing one of them, which is like the blonde-haired version. But I'll eventually track that down as well, too. Just too many things to buy. But everyone knows I love Revo. Like, I have that Revo Iron Spider, and I love and adore that thing. This Harley Quinn is no different. Like, she's super nice. I actually left her in this really cool pose where she had the hammer over her shoulder. But she is user-friendly like a mug. Like, it's not even a game. Like, she's very simple. No ratchet joints, very smooth transition. All the boy joints are only either seen from the back or blended really well here on the front. And that actually makes her a really good toy. She's one of those things where even her size compatibility lets her fit in with literally just about any other line, which is dope as hell. And it's just been one of those things where I wish I could have gotten around to this sooner, but I also felt like I was out of ideas, which is kind of rough for me because the burnout is real. Like, it's one of those things that I was very scared that I just wasn't bringing my A game. And in truth, I wasn't. But I feel like now I'm, I'm being in like a B plus game, which I'm okay with because when you when you work as hard as someone who feels the burnout as long as I have, you you kind of learn to go, all right, I'm gonna save my hot shit for later. Like, I'm really gonna get into it. So again, thank you guys for being those patient. But let's talk about her look and articulation. Like I said, I really do love this Harley Quinn. This is definitely a New 52 era Suicide Squad look that she first adopted. The hair color is uh, one of the Ami Ami exclusive colors. Our pigtails, they move. So that means you can have a nice expression of hair. Like when she's shaking her head no, her eye movement and things like that. Because behind the faceplate, you can actually move those eyes. So it doesn't even hinder articulation because it allows her to literally move around in almost every which way. We already know Revo is the most poseable in the game, period. Why? Because you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. Like as we lift our arms up, we see that she has a single joint, but it allows for that cut to look double jointed as it cuts really deep and in there. The Revo joint on the wrist articulates very well. We can rotate her arm around with no issue. That is on a double joint that actually sits really well under these pads. As far as ab crunch goes, she can rotate backwards really, really well. So that means if you want to do somersaults, not a problem. You want to tilt to the side, not a problem. Her front crunch, very deep. When you add that with the lower waist articulation, you actually can do a lot with her. Like I, I'm going to put her in this really weird, and it's going to look really stupid, but watch this. Like, you're going to buzz down Tatiana, right? Let's say you want to do whatever. But that doesn't have to be that. You can do... Right? Running, jumping, getting to the side. Let's actually add that arm pose because that, that needs to be there to, to indicate the running, jumping part. But look at that. With literally no issues whatsoever. Maybe your belt may rise up, but you can push that back down and boom. Right back looking utterly fantastic. Easy to pose, easy to look at. We have a nice rotation here for the legs that literally have no issues. That means when you want her to stretch and sit Indian style and like do yoga poses, because that doesn't mean you always have to do, right, super crazy stuff. Let's say you just wanted to do a nice pose like this. The Revo Harley Quinn can help you pose better. You can just use her as one of those things where she literally just helps you get better at posing. Because the thigh swivel is actually, you get some extra one here, and this is double jointed. Well, actually, it's a single joint, but it's cut deep enough that way it allows that nice double joint movement. Even balancing shouldn't really be an issue for her. Like, I'm, <laughs> I wish I would have had more time to sit down and really like talk about how 
this has been utterly therapeutic to sit down and play with my toys more often. But I'd be lying to say that I did that because a lot of times I'm stressed working. But this, this has been fun as I sit down and do this and forget that I'm reviewing. But yes, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like you can legitimately just have fun trying stupid different poses. Speaking of, somewhere, some way, sorry, I messed that one up. This one is going to be for my main man, Raspberry Chainsaw, who also gave me my outro music a very long time ago. I'm gonna show you that in a second. But as you can see here, I wanna talk about the eye movement, because you can move these around. See, I moved them just a tad bit over, but not, not anything crazy. Let's put these plates back here. So one thing I saw on the internet, and I saw this on my Twitter because Raspberry Chainsaw did it. I don't know what it, I think it's called the Jack O challenge, but it, it's it's stupid. But he asked me to do it, and it just so happens I'm reviewing Harley Quinn. So Rocket Fist Figs uh, and Chainsaw. Here you go, because I don't like doing this pose, but the challenge is about making sure I believe it's about the posing challenge, at least for the toy side of this, but here we are. But I don't really like this, but <laughs> uh, I like doing it for posing, not for the sake of, but I was challenged, so I felt like I had to do it. So real quick, let's get her in a different kind of pose. She hangs out. And we're gonna talk about her accessories. All right, there we go. Make it look nice and cool. So as you saw, I use this for moving her eyes. She will get two other face plates. One of them being the Winky Eyed Bubblegum one, right? And that's pretty cool because the Winky Eyed Bubblegum one is always fun. You can actually only move one eye there. Keep that in mind. Then we have her neutral face. Try to fix that focus. Keep forgetting I'm on my phone now, so I don't have to worry about some crazy stuff. But here you are. She's gonna look crazy without her hair plates, so there's that. You will get a baseball bat. Baseball bat is going to have a tab plug in there. The tab plug is so that you can either. Oh, wait, where did it go? Oh, yeah, here it is. So you can add this plate, the boosh can add it this way right in front Let's see or oh, I believe you can take this out like wiggle this out Oop, didn't mean to do that just have it as a bash effect the same can be done on her mallet I think I'm missing one part I don't remember where to go and I probably broke it i hope not but there is another bash effect so let me see nope i believe this might be it but i could have swore there was one more effect but if that's the case either way you get a nice effect that you can add to the hammer as well i do like the hammer though even though it's meant to be a little bit smaller like like she usually has an oversized mallet, but then again, it's still a mallet, so, right? As far as hand accessories, I have her trigger slash uh, mallet holding hands there. She does get two closed fists. Actually, swap that around, there we go. We will get two closed fists. You're going to get a thumbs up only for the left hand. You're going to get a pointing right hand and a peace sign left hand and a peace sign right hand. You'll also get two roller skates that's gonna add a little bit to her height, but will also, you know, let you get the nice look of roller skate derby Harley Quinn. These are easily done by just swapping out the bottom. I won't do it now because I'm gonna jump into the size comparison, but you can just easily swap out those pegs and you're all good. I think that about covers everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. But um, yeah, this has actually been fun. 
kind of glad I really got around to it. Shout out to the fans. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take a second and we're going to jump into size comparisons. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, size comparison time. Uh, where do I begin? Oh, you know what? Since we're doing it, here is a Revo Joker. I'm not going to include my Revo Batman because honestly, can't even find it. And I probably should be ashamed of myself for that, but it is what it is. But we can throw in a Moffex Batman, right? So here we are with the Moffex Black Batman. And I really like how these three look together. It's a nice size comparison. Um, let's take these two guys away. And now let's compare to an SH Figures Injustice Harley. I actually like this Harley a lot. And she lasted a pretty long time on my display shelf. Only being slightly taller than the, than the Revo one. So, yeah. That one's pretty cool. Ooh. Let's do the Mezco Harley Quinn. Playing for keeps one, but I have the regular head on it. This one is a huge size difference. But, uh, yeah. I like tiny <laughs> Revo Harley. Super articulated, super fun. But I think this next one's probably the best match with her. I really like these two as a combination together. Being the Moffex Catwoman and the Revo Harley. I think... Even with the size discrepancy, I really like the way these two would look and maneuver together. Really, really do. Here we are with a Mezco Joker. Clown Prince of Crime version. Crime, crime, crime. Doing crime. He's bigger than both of them, so. You know, but you can make it work if you're doing an action scene. If you're not doing any action stuff, make it a little bit tricky. Here we are with an SHF Wonder Woman. The Moffex stands about the same height, so I didn't want to put her in there. Here we are. Ooh, the Mezco Batman. She's going to run circles around this Batman because she's so tiny. He'll never be able to hit her. <laughs> right? Next up. Ooh, here is a Moffex Superman. Just to have a nice comparison. He looks gigantic next to her. But I would like the, the ambiance of that because even with Superman being tall, Superman's like this kind figure, even in the face of his enemies, always showing this compassion. Here is a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Here we are with a G.I. Joe Flint. Next up, we got my main man, Kuga. He's probably gonna be the only person around her size. <laughs> Besides maybe an articulated icons ninja. I think that's the only other thing I can really think of that's gonna be close to Harley, even though she's smaller than the average figure. Yeah. Right? Next up, we have uh, Big Beefy over here. And this is a Mythic Legion. Stands gigantic over her. And the other thing I think that's even bigger is going to be a Storm Collectibles Cyrax. So yeah. I think that this is one of those times where it's like, okay, she doesn't really fit in unless you're doing like exact Moffex or Revolt Tech stuff, but that doesn't make it any less fun or warranting. And it's one of those things where even as a standalone piece, I think she's amazing, especially if you want to test your posing game out. I think this is a great entryway into Revolve Tech to understand their joint system. But again, I'm late to the game. This review is like eight years too late, but I had a spectacular time doing it. Thank you for watching. Please be good to yourself. Be good to others. Um, if you have a pet, give them all the pet pets today, right? Make sure you had a glass of water. Um, wear your sunscreen. Do all that good stuff. But most importantly, please be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Bye.